Hebrews chapter 2 verse 14. Why did Jesus come? What was his purpose? For, for as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same, that through death he might destroy him that had the power of death, that is the devil, and to deliver them who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. Let me teach on that for a minute. And we'll have to come back to part two of this message. Jesus, why did he come? He came to be partakers of flesh and blood. What does it mean? Jesus is the only one in history. The God who came from eternity, eternity, heaven, ruling and reigning, subjected himself to the human nature and human experiences for the salvation of man. To sanctify man. To bring man back to God. Come on, shall glory. And he did that. Verse 14 of Hebrews chapter 2. He likewise took part of the same. That through death he might destroy him. That had power of death. That is the devil. Jesus came. My next point is. Into the earth. To take on the nature of man. To die on a cross. That through death he could take the power of the one who previously held the power of death. Lucifer, Satan, that old enemy, that defeated enemy of Jesus. Hallelujah. What does this mean? From the time of Adam until the time Jesus came, even today in 2016, millions of people are bound by the fear of death. They don't say it. That's why men drink. That's why men use drugs. That's why men run to dead religions all around the world. Really, the deepest human issue is they are afraid of death. Why do people spend millions of dollars trying to find the fountain of life when it doesn't exist? They're looking for a mystical pool, a mystical water, a mystical drink to live forever. Because they're afraid of death. Why do people, when they feel a little pain, they become afraid. They're afraid of death. Why are people worried and stressed out all around the world? What they can eat, what they're going to drink, how they're going to survive. Why do they teeth and steal and do all these things? Why? They call it survival. It's not survival. It's a fear of death. It's a fear of dying. You put rats in an enclosed case with limited food and water. And before a while, those nice rats that cohabited will begin to turn on each other, kill them, and eat each other's flesh. Why? The fear of death. The fear of dying. They go into an animalistic nature, a primitive nature to survive. That's what's happening around the world. Men and women, boys and girls, who are lost without Jesus Christ, who don't have eternal life. And for thousands of years, because through Adam all men sin, and through all Adam's sin all men die. Every human being that lives today, if Jesus tarries and doesn't come, will die. It's not death that's the issue. It's the fear of death. That is whole many people captive. And God of heaven saw his creation bound by death. Strangled by the fear of death. Strangled by his arch enemy, Satan, Lucifer, a defeated enemy, by the way, who was holding people captive. Today I'm speaking to you. Listen, many of you listening and watching, even though you might have Jesus Christ in the Lord, you, might need, you need to break that spirit of the fear of death. Jesus came to took away the fear. Fear is a demon that is connected to the devil. I don't care what fear it is. It might be fear of physical death. It might be fear of, death, fear of spiritual death. It might be fear of your financial death. All of it. Fear of family death, relationship death. Fear of losing your children death. Fear of death of your, 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 your business, your dream, your career, your life. It's fear. All fear driven by Satan. Driven by Lucifer, that Jesus has died on the cross to destroy the fear of death, to take the power 
that Lucifer had over creation of the fear of death and of dying. Hallelujah. Why? Why do we know that? Because the Bible says Satan is a thief. He's a thief. Hallelujah. And he come to kill, steal, and destroy. So we know everything about him is death. So not only does he death, uh, create death in those that live for him and don't have Jesus Christ as the Lord, but he also keeps them in the fear of it. He keeps them in the bondage of the fear of death. And then he kills them. But Jesus came to take the power and of the fear of death. And he came to deliver those uh, who through all their lifetime were subject to the bondage of the fear of death. Hallelujah. I thank God that growing up, uh, the devil tried to afflict me with fear. But thank God to the name of Jesus. I used to be afraid of death and dying. Hallelujah. I used to be afraid of anything death and funerals. Uh, because the devil had me in the bondage as a child. Can you imagine that? And I thank God Jesus delivered me from that. But many people are adults. Uh, and they are still afraid of death. Uh, they're still afraid of dying. They're still afraid of funerals. They're still afraid of coffins. They're still they're afraid of how they're going to die. And so they eat all these things. And they try to run five times a day. And they try to do everything that's healthy. And I encourage that. That's good. But if it's motivated by the fear that I want to live forever, not going to die. I say, you need Jesus. The only thing that's going to bring you victory is Jesus in your life. Delivering you and I from the fear of death every day. Delivering us from the one who kept man in bondage. A Satan, the devil. 